All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to read off uh, the recap from Raw. We're going to take some questions. Some people sent me some emails, and I also have some questions from my own Facebook group. And I also have a question for you concerning the 1999 Observer book, because I was reading it today, and there was, there's a great one that I don't I, I don't think I'd ever heard this before, so we'll I'll follow that up at the end as well. Okay, so on Raw... Um, Big the 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 big show storyline was Lashley Big E against Owens and Rollins. Lashley Big E and MVP did a interview segment or a promo segment at the top of the show. Then they got attacked by Owens and Rollins, but they they fought them off. And it seems like there's more sort of teases with MVP and Lashley as far as you know maybe them not completely getting along. Um, well, well, I mean, I. If you watch the show, you certainly get the impression that Bobby Lashley is going babyface. They, they, I feel like they kind of showed their cards at the last pay per view when they did that giant uh, yeah, the, promo that, package about him, or the yeah, package. total ba- total babyface video package. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's 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 been feeling like that's in the cards, and then he has to beat three guys to get in. I mean, that's a you know that's a total babyface move. Uh, Bianca Belair beat Dewdrop, and the whole match built towards Bianca doing the KOD on Dewdrop, yeah. muscled her into it. Yeah, well, I mean, so um, it feels like Groundhog Day with that match. <laughs> In fact, when I was reading the show, it's like, oh yeah, it's it, it's it's like so similar every week. Um, you know, obviously they did the AJ Styles and almost split, yep. which they've been building. You know, but but so much of the show, when I look at it, it's like, oh, it's like it's the same, you know, it's very, very similar stuff every week. Well, speaking of Finn Balor beat Austin Theory and then later in the show, Vince just gave Austin Theory a rematch for next week. Yeah, um, why not? They, <laughs> they, they got like they got a whole show next week. Yeah, they, um, they, lined they, up. They've put together a bunch of matches. Yeah. Uh, so the Miss TV segment with AJ and Omos or Omos where uh, Miz was stirring up the stuff which led into a match. Dominic and Ray beat AJ and Omos after Ray schoolboyed AJ after Omos wouldn't tag in. And then I guess AJ is going to be on NXT on Tuesday night to answer Grayson Waller. Um, so they're going against the NFL on Tuesday for the first time in history. Yes. So they should get destroyed. So that's probably the deal. Is Riddle going to be on Tuesday? He wasn't on the show tonight. Um, And Randy Orton was. Right. That could be, I mean, you know, even if he does not wrestling on the show, he would be on the show. You know, I mean, he's a regular on the show. So, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what's up with him? Uh, Yeah, so Randy Orton beat Chad Gable in less than three minutes, and then there was some stuff with Otis at the end. Of course he did. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Ziggler beat Damian Priest by countout after Priest went crazy after uh, Bobby Roode. Um, I mentioned the Theory and Vince segment. That segment sounds – I really want to watch that segment because it sounds really weird. Like it sounds weirder than a normal Vince segment in 2021. So I'm very well. Didn't he? Didn't, didn't, that. What, didn't he talk about like firing people or something again? <laughs> yeah, he loves firing people before Christmas. Had the pencil again. Yeah. Uh, so there was the 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 cutting edge segment uh, with Maurice, and Maurice was kind of trying to tease that she and Miz were not getting along, and Edge was like, ah. Yeah, I I can see right through this. He saw right through it, and he still got beat up. So so the thing is, is like, if that's gonna be what Roman Reigns and Paul E do, and then they do it on Raw mm-hmm. with with Miz and Maurice, that's like, that's kind of like um, undercutting it, don't you think? To do the exact same thing on in a minor angle, like two yeah, before the big angle. Yeah. But you know what? One feels so much more important than the other. Well, that's the point. So why do the exact same thing with an unimportant one? Yeah. 
but but they did and it, you know obviously they were going to do it and that's been planned and you know they're two different shows and they often repeat a- the same angle on on one show as they do on another i mean i don't know that that's and what, on nxt because we just got the Grayson Waller thing where uh, Braun Breaker kicked him out of the locker room, and that's completely based on the this, this story they were telling on Raw with uh, Edge saying how Miz got kicked out of the locker room. Well, that's different. That's not the same story that, you know, the same thing where you're faking a breakup to to do a double team. But that is, yes, the, the Grayson Waller. That had to Waller, be where they got the idea. Yeah, the Grayson Waller thing is obviously a copy of the story that Miz brought up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rhea Ripley beat Zelina. Um, That's a Groundhog Day, except it's 50-50. <laughs> well, there was no... Her tag team partner wasn't there, I guess. Yeah. This time. Uh, did you... What you think of the, the Liv and Becky video? Did you see I didn't see one? it. But, no, I didn't okay. see that. I heard about it, but I didn't see it because I'm on vacation. So, so I haven't seen... It was, it, was a, it was a Twitter video, but it was very produced. And well, it, was so, at, it, it was at the gym, right? Yeah. And so Becky, we're, we're, we're thought to believe that Becky is in the ring uh, wrestling and the hair is covering her face. So you can't actually see her face. And all of a sudden, Liv just shows up and she's like staring at Becky. And then the fake Becky gets hit with a, a kendo stick and it's a fake Becky so then the real Becky is behind Liv, and then they fight. So Liv couldn't even jump Becky correctly, and uh, then she had to explain all of this in the segment on Raw tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Becky just big-timed her and said she had like a plane to catch or something. <laughs> um, and then so for next week, they already promoted AJ versus Omos. You know, the thing I was wondering about that. I thought, you know, they've been building this thing forever, like, and all of a sudden they just do it, like, at the end of the year. Unless, I mean, I guess maybe if it plays into day one somehow, but I just just the timing of it felt kind of weird to me. You know, but here's the thing. It's like the match almost just has to pin him in three minutes, right? Yes. So it's because they can't do a long match. It's impossible. Well, not impossible, but it would be brutal, even with AJ. Um well, maybe AJ is good enough to carry it, but it'd be it's but I don't know that Vince would want like a an eight minute match, even if AJ could make it passable. So it's hard to bring that back on the pay-per-view a couple of days later unless they just do something where, you know, something happens and they don't actually do the match and they move the match to the pay-per-view. But the, even so, it's like AJ and Omos, it's like, okay, there's it, it's such so limiting how, what you can do with it. And how and you can't do like a program, and so once they do it, then what do you do? You put, you know, well, I mean, it's like who do you put him against? You know, in the singles, I mean, yeah, you can do it, and he can beat people, but you know, it, it has to be short matches. Yes, yes, for sure. Uh, so also, Randy Orton against Otis, Finn Balor against Austin Theory again, and then Damian Priest versus Ziggler again. This one is for the title, though. Yeah, I thought that they would put the title match on the pay-per-view and maybe it'll lead to something on the pay-per-view. Um, you know, um, but I don't know like how many pay-per-view spots there are because I'm expecting Nakamura and Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental on the pay-per-view, but that's not official either. Although it may be official on Friday. And then the last segment on the show, the main event segment, was Big E and Bobby Lashley beat Owens and Rollins after Lashley speared Owens. But then the heels beat up the baby faces after uh, the match was over, and then they hugged. And I guess that was the end of the show. Yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.